Let's move into the second Friday night game, and it was a massive upset. I'm going to call it the Battle of Brookvale. I don't care if it's Four Pines Park. It was Manly 18 defeating the Melbourne Storm 8. Um, the injuries, Kelma Twalagi, head injury. He will now take 11 days off. You've got Tom Eisenhoof, groin hip. He's been sent for scans. You've got Raymond for a two-match suspension for the shoulder charge. Trent Leore for a $1,000 fine. Justin Olam, dangerous contact, a $1,000 fine. Tua Kamika, two matches for his grade two uh, dangerous contact. And obviously the Dali M points, you've got Cherry Evans, Trebojevic, Jake Trebojevic, and Cameron Munster. So what do you make of this game? What do you make of, I guess, these Dali M points? And obviously just the Melbourne Storm and Manly teams moving forward. We look back to last week, a dominant Melbourne destroyed the Roosters, a lazy Manly get dominated by Penrith. We fast forward one week later and Manly upsets Melbourne. So what do you make of these two teams and what do you make of them going forward? Uh, this is this this game lived up to the height that we call it ba- the Battle of Brookie. Um, this uh, this game was really an arm wrestle for most of this um, most of the game. Manly jumped out early, scored two early tries. Uh, you know, Storm fought back, and really the last try to win it all really only came in the last five minutes. So, like this, on on stats, this was. Pretty, a pretty impressive game to watch as a specta- as, as, from a spectator point of view. Um, 11, 11 errors is not the best, but in those conditions, it is kind of good. Um, it was raining at one mo- moment with that. It was, I think it was raining sideways like cats and dogs, and yeah, it was just terrible. But then next minute, it was all nice and humid and dry and just was a bit all over the park at Brookvale. And um Melbourne moved their pack around, you know, a month went back to fullback to accommodate a young seven, uh, a young six coming through. Uh, no Nick Meany being there. Uh, I think they're just playing, playing, they're trying to play chess and moving their good players around. I think they just, Cameron wants to play six and you just need to fill a fullback. Uh, I, know, I know it was manly and you just got to trust the boys, the next person to step up and do the job. And I think they, I think they got the um, the change there wrong with dropping Munster the fullback. Um, uh, Manly got it right. Um, it was a good response from the week before. Um, no back spasms coming from Turbo. Um, he looked pretty impressive at uh, the backfield there. And um, we go back to the Dalian points because um, I think one player missed out on a couple of points there. It was Jared Croker. Um, yeah, Jared, Jared Croker, the um, the hooker for Manly. I thought he had a terrific game in the middle, um, moving the pack around um, from dummy half there. So I thought maybe he could snag a point or two um, in this Dally M uh, voting, but uh, obviously he's not there and the main uh, all the points have gone to the main three uh, from Manly there. But it is what it is. And um, both teams made to move on and move on pretty quickly from this and rest up because they've got a uh, good game coming up next weekend. Yeah, I think obviously, like you said, you could see this Melbourne side now. For me, it could be a bit of a, they did play a big game. Yes, they dominated the Roosters, but it was a physical game. It was a tough game. So maybe we're seeing the impacts of that, whereas I'm not saying Manly didn't have a tough game against Penrith, but they were pretty much turnstiles. Everything that came out and went through, they scored a try. So Maybe this was a bit of fatigue with Melbourne, but obviously they do have that now extended rest because they don't play until Tuesday on Anzac Day. So they've got that extended rest. They're going to mm. get that recovery under their belt. So I do expect them to bounce back and they're going to have another hard match against the Warriors. So that's something I'm looking forward to previewing in our team list episode. But 